and yeah, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you my recipe for beet stew with Brussels sprouts, which in Polish is wulasz gołowy z brukselką, and it is delicious recipe for fall right now. So I hope you guys join me. We're going to warm up a little bit of oil in the pot, and then we're going to add onion, and we're going to wait until it gets translucent. I'm going to season it with salt a little bit. It will help the process, but also it will season the dish. <laughs> Here we go. When the onion is translucent, I'm adding my stewing beef. Okay, it's cut into small pieces, bite-sized pieces. Okay, and we season it with salt and pepper this time. Okay, we're giving it a stir. Well, maybe after we add the Italian seasoning. <laughs> then we're giving it a stir. Okay, and we're going to wait until the meat is browning. Here we go. Almost no pink. Now when it is almost no pink, we're adding our cut mushrooms. And again, we season it with a little bit of salt. And then we're going to give it a good stir. We're going to wait for the mushrooms to uh, soften a little bit. Here we go. We're going to give a stir again. We don't want it to burn or stick to the bottom. Okay, now we're going to add our broth and then the wine. Now, if you don't want to use wine, that's fine. Just add a little bit more of the beef broth. Okay, and now I'm going to cover it, bringing to a, bring it to a boil, give it a stir, bring the heat to low, and I'm going to simmer it for, in my case, it was around 45 minutes. I want the meat to be almost tender. Okay, and then, in my case, like I said, it was 45 minutes. I added the Brussels sprouts, and this is going to go on for another around 45 minutes. I like my Brussels sprouts soft. Now, if you like yours still a little bit crispy, having a crunch or something, you can keep them for 20 minutes, but then keep the beef a little bit longer before you add the Brussels sprouts. As the final touch, we're adding the heavy whipping cream, give it a stir, and we're ready to serve. It is delicious, perfect for the red weather, and I always serve it with some green onion. I hope you enjoyed the recipe, you guys, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye! Smacznego!